got uh, some stuff coming in here to bring the uh, administration. His boss, uh, Wesley Chun, former boss, uh, the former director, named defendant in the suit. So you'll never see this guy. You'll never see this guy's video. He's not doing it for you. I'm doing it for you. That's the difference. Says I am a tent. Often I am used for camping, sleepovers, or housing. Today I am the face of the houseless and a movement fighting for social and economic justice. I am a sign, I am art, I am a message. This is the uh, the danger tape. It's not danger tape, it's not police. The exclusion do zone is uh, submitted to uh, advertising. Uh, this will eventually get archived at... Uh, at um, YouTube. My YouTube channel is... Uh, the YT Doug, or you can look up H. Doug Matsuoka. It's now under my real name. So I'm trying to count the police here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen police here. I'll probably make uh, up to a dozen uh, raids on other encampments that don't have these exclusion zones, that don't have videographers, that don't have internet, that don't have Twitter accounts, that don't have Facebook accounts. They can pretty much do any anything they want when they get to those camps. I want to take it as a Taoist kind of thing, as an observation of the true nature of things. I got a guy right here over my shoulder. My stuff goes up on YouTube and it goes up on Ustream. I don't, your stuff is just here to do God knows what. I have an objection to it. I think it's uh, intimidation. I think it's harassment. I just want to say that for the record, you know, because we got each other before. And you don't talk, you don't narrate your stuff. I'm H. Doug on Twitter and you can follow uh, my account to find out who I am and where I uh, put the videos and that sort of thing. You can find out where I eat lunch and everything. I'm totally transparent in this. Just thought I'd do. And this is where people actually sleep. I mean, you know, if you've been following my streams, you know, this is home. This is home for so many people. But they're being treated like criminals. And the criminals who are taking stuff are doing it under the protection of the police. That's kind of what bugs me. And criminals are people who hurt other people, who take people's stuff. What do these guys do? We have guys sleeping here in the corner. We're at South Occupy, which is what I call the act. And this uh, is a garbage truck, and it goes along with the crews during the uh, during the raids. And you can see stuff in there. I'm gonna walk here now that the exclusion tape is gone. And what they do is they tag. I'll show you tag. They tag the tents. And it says, um, you know, the, the law is against, is against storage of property. That's how they get around it. So they come back in 24 hours and they take stuff. What opportunity, it's not that we're creating opportunity besides, the only opportunity that we really create with this is giving them a safe haven. Some place that they can stay away from all the drugs, some place that they stay away from all the fights that happens throughout the rest of the area, or happens within the shelters here. Now, as for a voice, it, hopefully at some point I would like to see that our mayor and our elected officials use some economic sense and say, hey, if we're going to spend thousands of, money, thousands of dollars to get no value out of it, what can we do to make value out of it? That's it. That's you it. know, and if we can create value, then it helps everybody. We're not here to fight. We got better. I got better things to do than fighting the city left and right. Let me tell you. I mean, I have a job at 13 years of college. I'm fine. 
but I'm here for a purpose. And that's to say, come on, this isn't right. This is violating people's civil rights and depleting the resources of this island even more. There's no value in what's been attained. This is how you present your message to Well, right now, the only way we can do it is because if they're going to beat and steal from the houseless, and there's been numerous instances of that all the way through the silent, someone has to make a stand for them here. And if it, if it comes to the point where every house is individual, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000 wants to move here, then we can provide that safety for them, then we'll stay here. But if they can sit, if the city and county can provide safety for them by giving them opportunity to rise up and be on their own, we have no jobs here, and we'll leave. I think the, I think the problem is, People don't see how this is opportunity. That's that's the well, difficulty that well, we have to bridge. Oh yeah, that's message. true. But you know, and so does the rest of the city people. And I know a lot of these officers know. You know, I know I know they're here just to do a job. They have families they have to represent. They have to take care of. They have their own resources that they have to do. So they're not going to sit there and put their own jobs on the line. They're going to do their best job that they can to maintain and represent the city. But the officials that we elect. Their job is to find those resources and to find the opportunity so it doesn't deplete them putting a dollar in spiral on this community. But you know, you don't, you don't so I mean, you're right. I need to try and find a bridge that the community understands. But no matter what, we all know, the elected officials know exactly what's going on. Because they see me and they've, I've been dealing with them for over a year. They know exactly what I'm here for and what's going on. But they have failed the public. If the public wants these tents gone because they are an eyesore, come up with an opportunity and give, give, an, give an option for people. I'm not going to argue and say that every single person that you can solve the problem. You'll never be able to solve a homeless problem or a houseless. There's always something that's going to put them on the street. But how you address that is what makes it uh, the finding statement. How you address that represents your, your citizens. And if you fail to even try, you're failing as a government itself. You know, so, so do you think part of it is that people don't understand the situation as well as... Well, the, the citizens came to, to the city and county and said, we want these tents gone. Yeah. This is nice or we can't have this. Yeah. Right? And so various members, and I won't name them off, decided to write up a bill called Bill 54 that, that literally stole from them. Right? This is what your job is for, is to take that and say, this, this is... This is wrong that the community doesn't want this. They think this is a good thing because it disappears, but when they see it come back the very next day, or with our camp that it just stays, <laughs> they already know. They're ticked off. They're, they don't care what the reason is. They don't care if we're here for standing up or, or what's going on. They know right now the mayor can talk big and so can other city council members, but no matter what, we're still here. <laughs> Right. So it doesn't show anything, and they're going to get even more mad. And sooner or later, they're going to get so mad that they'll come knocking at your guys' door. Right. But you can look like the big guys and the good guys and just come up with something that gives opportunity, and then everybody can go home and not have to deal with it. appreciate your opinions. Okay. Thank, thank you for sharing your, your position okay. on all of this. It's good to meet you. Okay. Nice meeting you. Yep. Okay. We'll be seeing you again. Yes, we will. All right. <laughs> <laughs>